Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the demos that uh, we have created in CodeHoost.com. I'm going to do a walkthrough over all the demos, describing it a little bit more uh, so that you can uh, use them in a better way. Let's get started. So if you go to CodeHoost.com and click on any of the tutorials and articles, I will start with this one. Uh, you will see that you have uh, the option to download and also you can see the demo of it. So I clicked on demo. The first uh, sort of demo is a step progress bar as you can see. So you can have, uh, you know, you, you can use it in any sort of like a shopping cart or any uh, website that needs some uh, consecutive uh, procedures for the user to carry on. Uh, you, I will, I will resize this. You can see that it kind of uh, looks good in the mobile device, but if you go over than four or five, then you might have a problem. So, this is this step progress bar. Let's go to the next demo. The next demo is pretty much a notification panel with vertical timeline. So, if you notice here, we have this notification icon. If you click on it, you can see that this. Uh, sort of panel opens with, a, with some sort of a vertical timeline. Uh, it's actually very useful if you have uh, like uh, admin interfaces or any sort of uh, user notifications that you want to notify the user. It also works on the demo, uh, sorry, in the mobile version. So you can see that it kind of uh, fills all the space that you have on your mobile viewport. Uh, let's go to the next demo. So the next demo is actually a uh, responsive layout. Uh, take a look at the menu over here. You can see that if I decrease the size uh, on the tablet it looks something like this and if I go a little bit further in you can see that it becomes into a invisible menu like this. Uh, the whole the whole uh, layout is designed using Flexbox. So let's go to the next demo. The next demo is actually pretty nice. Uh, we've developed a uh, library for this. So if I click on this button, you will see this nice animation over here. So if I do it again, boom. So it's super nice. Uh, you can always go to the article and uh, you know read more about uh, how we incorporated this into that page you can see that there is a movie library you can go inside and then it's a github repository you can download and play with it you can basically use this tutorial to create cool stuff using this it uses svg so if i go back to the demo uh, and go to the next demo this one is the sticky navigation bar as you can see, if I scroll down, it kind of fixes itself to the top of this viewport. Uh, it's pretty useful. I've seen it a lot in the websites. You can always go to the article and read how we developed it, and you can always go back to the article and download the demo. So going back to the next demo, this is the top, back to top button. So as you can see, there is no button over here when you scroll down to some extent. It actually shows, so when you click up, it, it scrolls back up. The next demo is uh, a very neat navigation button over here. You can see that when you click over it, it has a very nice animation using uh, CSS transitions and transformations. Check this out as well. Going to the next demo, this is actually my favorite one. It's a fixed vertical menu, as you can see here. Uh, we have four sections. Uh, when you click on each of these, it actually scrolls to that section. And uh, also, if you scroll in the page, you can see that the respective uh, circle for that section gets activated. It's a pretty cool one, so check this out. Going to the next demo, it's actually a parallax fixed background effect. It's not actually, it's semi parallax, it's not parallax, it uses. Uh, background attachment uh, CSS property to achieve this effect, but this is pretty cool uh, If you want to use this check this out as well 
And then the final demo is actually pretty nice as well. So you can have a side navigation menu all developed in CSS. Seen it uh, in a lot of websites that won the um, you know side of the day award. You can click on portfolio. It goes to the portfolio section, closes the navigation, and going forward. So I would actually recommend you. It, this list also uh, every week a new tutorial gets added to this list. So feel free to go to kothus.com and also don't forget to subscribe uh, to this channel to get uh, the new tutorials as well as liking this page because we add the new tutorials to the website to the Facebook page. So yeah, that's about it. So I wish you a brilliant day and see you next time.